My name is Rachel Simmons, and I'm a senior at Carewood Day School's IB Diploma Program. And I'm here to talk to you today about why creativity is my passion. Now, in all honesty, I didn't truly recognize my love for creating until after writing. Let me set the scene. It's summer, June 19th, 2014. I'm sitting in an airport besides my dad, and we're both waiting for our flight to be announced. We're going to go to New Jersey, stay at a relative's house, so that we can spend the night there, unpack our things, wake up early the next morning, get dressed, and then drive all the way to Dover, Delaware, where the Firefly Music Festival was being held that year. Now, Dad, quite like myself, is sitting in his chair, hunched over, staring at his phone, eyes glued to the screen. But after a while, he stands up and tells me that he is going to charge his phone at the charging station a couple gates over, because all the charging stations by us are taken up. All right, well, meanwhile, I'm sitting here and still with my phone, and all the apps have gotten really old by now. And I was utterly bored, to say the least. But when I looked, and when I listened, the people around me, they were not boring at all. And suddenly, I got this strong desire to write it all down, to capture that moment and remember it for myself. Now, not to brag or anything, but I consider myself a master at texting. Over the summer, I was talking to three to eight people on all different types of social media. Twitter, Facebook, texting, iMessage, etc. Bottom line is, I can just type really fast with my thumb. And this skill came in handy. I opened up a new note on my iPhone, and I wrote down everything I observed happening around me in that moment. Here's part of it. The little boy turned his face away and proceeded to watch the people as they passed by. A stewardess in a tight black pencil skirt. A white-clothed woman with earphones in, moving a trash bin in front of her. Pink, plastic, and practically Hello Kitty fashion earrings sitting in her earlobes to match her pink headband, despite the fact that she was clearly pushing 45. A man in bright yellow pants that didn't match any of the rest of his outfit which consisted of a worn earth tone navy sweatshirt, an old baseball cap, and a pair of decade-old New Balance sneakers. I was so fascinated in the words that I was putting down that I didn't even think about what words I was writing. And when I put it all into a Word document, the word count amounted to over 1,400 words long. And it was effortless. Just a few short minutes of dialogue, a couple descriptions, and suddenly I was on my way to writing a short chapter in a novel. And I was proud of what I'd written, too. Now, for me, time is not measured in minutes, but rather in moments. If I spend all my time waiting on something to happen in the future, a concert, graduation, or dwelling on the past, then I miss everything going on in the present. Moments flip by with every passing second. And if I really take that time to notice, to really appreciate what's happening, like I did that day in the airport, then suddenly everything becomes beautiful, different, new. Moreover, the moments that I love, the moments I enjoy the most, are the ones in which I'm expressing myself creatively. Nothing satisfies me more than creating a metaphoric lens for which people can see the beauty that I see in each specific moment, whether that lens is art, writing, music. Now, do you remember that moment a few seconds ago, maybe half a minute ago, when I said I was proud of what I'd written that day? That feeling I get when I'm creating something, that is my passion. Now, I've heard so many of my classmates talk about their courses, 
talk about their hobbies outside of school, and sometimes it just feels like they center all of their activities around maintaining a GPA, the courses that they're going to take in college. And sure, from an academic standpoint, that's smart. Plan for your future. Be ready for college. But as a student, as someone who's still young, I feel like that's robbing them, not allowing them the chance to really engage in their passions and what they love. I am currently in the standard level mathematics class, which is one step higher than mathematics studies in the IB diploma program. I'm taking it because I find math interesting. Sure, it's difficult for me sometimes. Sometimes it's really difficult for me. But I'm taking SL mathematics because I like the challenge. I'm taking chemistry because I love how every little thing relates back to all these theories. It fascinates me. I wanted to expand on my personal knowledge of that. But the majors I want to pursue in college? Film, visual arts, creative writing, music, international relations. Hardly any of these have anything to do with the hard sciences nor do they have anything to do with mathematics. I'm taking my classes to learn. Now for me, art is like writing. It comes naturally to me. It's fun. I like it. I am currently in the higher level visual arts class in my school's IB diploma program. But when I design and when I create these projects, I'm not just doing it simply to fulfill the assignment and get a good grade. I'm doing it because I love it. I love making my projects. I'm taking visual arts for the creativity of the class rather than merely the challenge of it. Because even when it's an assignment, and even if you get a bad grade, a C, a D, or an F, no matter how other people assess your work, it's yours. And you're free, I'm free, to leave it how it is, to add to it, to take away from it, to do whatever I want to do with it whenever I want, because it is my creation, and only I have that power. The same thing applies to my classmates in music class who have to write musical compositions. Those who are in theater, who have to write or direct plays. Because at the end of the day, my projects, they're mine. And no matter what other people tell me about them or how other people grade them, I'm proud of the work I've done. I've dedicated myself to that work. And it's mine. And creativity does not simply stop for me at writing and visual arts. For three years, I was in a rock band outside of school. I wrote songs with my band members, and then I stepped out of my comfort zone to sing on stage. For the NYP personal project in 10th grade, I wrote and illustrated a manga strip. I am currently president of the AV League, which is in charge of filming, and editing videos for our school community. And now I take photos for the Tampa Tribune as my job. My name is Rachel Simmons, and even though I am only 18 years old, I have written short stories, I've created art projects, I have produced movies, I've drawn pages from a comic book, And I've written songs and performed in front of large audiences. And I'm proud of all of that. I'm proud of the photos that I've taken for the Tampa Tribune and the fact that they've been featured in our local newspaper on more than one occasion. I'm proud of it because my work defines who I am. And that is why creativity is my passion. Thank you.